Hello guys, your name's Tolis here. Bring you another my one of my videos. This is about Windows 10. So if you're like me, I had Windows 8.1, and I decided, well, I wasn't really too sure about what to do about Windows 10. I was like, oh, should I upgrade to it? Should or not? It's so brand new. Figure Microsoft has problems with Xbox One, problems with fucking Windows 8, so it's gonna have problems with Windows 10. So I don't know. I waited for a few days, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna upgrade. Well. As I started upgrading, I don't know, there was something, some kind of problem with the system or whatever, but after my computer went through the pro, uh, the process, I got the little screen saying internal power error, and it said, you're, you know, your computer is randomly shut down, you get a blue screen with a little sad face, little sad face from Microsoft on there, and um, so I was like, what the hell, what can I do to fix this, what can I do to fix this? Um, well, in order to fix this, for right now, it's not like a total fix, but what's going to happen is you're just going to keep running your computer, getting it going, getting it going. It's going to keep restarting, 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 restarting. And eventually what you do is you once you get into this area, now if you have the problem where you're bit, where like you go down here and you can't even click on it, like you cannot open that up. And like even if I, like if you go to click on display or something, display settings, let's say this app, you don't have permissions to open this app or something. If you have that problem, you're going to have to go into safe mode and reset the computer. You're going to have to reset the OS. And um, you're probably going to lose everything that's on your computer, but it's, you know, it's one way to get your computer back to, to normally working. Um, if you don't have that issue and you're in here and you're on and it just has the random shut off or it just says internal or internal power error. What you're going to want to do is you can hit the, um, the window S key and pretty much what that does I don't really care about this real quick. Blah blah blah. I'm not interested. Okay. Okay. W window S just means it's like going to search your computer. It's a quick way to get down to this little search tab. You can go over here click on the search tab. And you're going to go to um, the device manager. If you want to go to your device manager and um, I guess one one of the things that causes this um, internal power is uh, your display adapter. I'm not sure if it's both of them or what, but whatever. I got this one disabled right now because I could not roll it back. You see it right now. I, I can enable it if I want to. If I enable it, I'll get the power where it'll shut down the computer. But as of right now, I have this one disabled and uh, my computer will stay on. Now, what this means, you're going to have to wait until they update the driver for Windows 10 in order to enable this. So, that's the fix. It's pretty simple. Um, don't freak out if your computer's going haywire and it's got this error. I'm currently running a Sony VAIO E-Series computer, a little laptop, so... Just, if you want to stick with Windows 10, stick with Windows 10. You can always revert to Windows 8.1 if you have the option, if you go into your uh, security and settings and um, your menu. So, well, thanks for watching. Sure to check out my live stream at twitch.tv slash Comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Bye.